quick tutorial for you today how to fix niche's icons not displaying properly even with a nerd font so niche if you haven't heard of it before is an amazingly minimal fetch that blows away neofetch's default config out of the water with its eyes closed but a bug seems to have made its way into the code because of which the icons are all messed up as you can see over here the simplest way to fix it would be to reconfigure and build it yourself so as you can see over here, what's happening is even though I have a nerd font installed, and even though it's supposed to work properly, it is not the case, which is why you're seeing the icons looking like this. Now, best way to actually fix this issue is to first of all, remove the AUR package. Okay, get rid of the AUR package, which is most likely what you have already installed. Next thing that you're going to have to do is head over to the GitHub. So if you look at niche, sysfetch tool, sysfetch tool GitHub, search this on your search engine and it's going to give you ss lirt okay this guy's github repo go on to here and you're going to find niche so you want to click on code click on copy link to clipboard then you want to uh, perhaps go to a directly directory like temp and just git clone this dude's repo now once you clone this okay what you're going to have to do is just change a couple of lines that contain the fonts inside of niche you're going to want to rebuild it and that's going to get rid of your issue pretty damn quick so let's go into source and in here you just want to take a look at niche.nim.cfg okay this seems to be the config file for nim itself let's check the actual nim file okay now let's go here because there should be a description as to how you can configure okay so you can configure niche by changing the source code so you're going to have to edit source funks drawing.nim this is going to be the config file so let's go to funks drawing.nim drawing.nim okay most likely you're not going to have nim installed right syntax highlighting for nim installed whether that be on neovim or vs codium so it doesn't really matter much but anyway this is where we are and if you just type in niche okay we don't actually have the command but as you can see here the issues were with certain icons now in order to basically get this working without having to go back go back and install the AUR package and whatnot all we have to do is just change every single one of these icons and replace them with icons from nerd fonts or from material fonts okay material icons so actually let's not do that and let's just get the AUR package so that we can get to know specifically what icons that we're going to have to replace so chances are I've already installed it. So all that has to happen is that you already made. So I just have to install it. And now if I type in niche, this is what you see. So user works, host name, kind of weird. That doesn't really look that good. So we'll change that to computer. I want to go to nerdfonts.com and make sure, of course, that you're using a nerd font. Right now I'm using the Geist Mono Nerd font for my terminal. And so that's, that's the font that you can see here. Now, inside of nerdfonts.com, you want to click on icons. And inside of the icon, what you want to do is look for the hostname icon. So something like that. Perhaps you want to pick a computer because it works. Or maybe a monitor. Something to represent a computer. So you can just do that. and uh, It works. Hostname. Okay. So you can just take, get rid of this icon, replace it with that. And distro icon. We also have to fix that. So let's get penguin. The NFMD penguin will replace the penguin icon. Then after that, the kernel. Now, kernel. There is no icon. So what could an icon representing the kernel be? Okay, seems like it's a laptop icon. So we can just get to that and put the same thing over there. The laptop. We'll just get the font awesome one. And we'll paste that here. Next thing is the uptime icon. That works. Shell also works. PKGs, you want to set PKGs to liter literally be a package. Package should find, we'll get this oct one. Put the package icon here. Okay, put it here. RAM icon. Yeah, memory is also messed up, so we'll just get RAM. A memory. Here you can find this memory, so we'll just paste that right over here. And colors icon, you want to pick a color palette. So palette, you'll find a color palette. Just pick your favorite one. You can use material design icons or you can use the font awesome icons. 
and end with FA. So NFFA basically means font awesome, MD means material design, and aux just refers to whatever other variants that they have cooked up over here. Now, once you do that, you're going to want to recompile it. Okay, make sure you've actually installed NIM for that CD, and you're going to want to build with Nimble Build. So oh, let's go back to the niche directory. So we'll dot dot slash. It's a pro tip, by the way. You don't have to actually type CD. If you're using ZSH and your shell is actually smart and not dumb, you're going to be able to just type in dot dot slash and go to the directory that, that is just one level above. Instead of having to type CD and then dot dot slash every single time. Okay, now we want to install NIM. We got rid of it even though we just installed it. Anyway, there you go, it's done. Now you want to type nimble, nimble build. And just to make sure everything works, let's get rid of niche. Yep, we'll just uninstall this. So R niche. R is an alias in my shell, which is actually going to expand to yay dash RNS. It's going to get rid of any dependencies that have been installed as well. So yay dash RNS niche is going to get rid of every single trace of niche from my system. So nimble build, once you type this in, you're going to have to wait for the nim compiler to do its thing. It's done. Now we should find niche over here. Now if I type dot slash niche, there you go. All of the icons are working perfectly. Now there's a couple of ways you can set this up to work on your own computer because right now if I type niche, oopsie doopsie, there's no niche program. Oh no, what to do? Pretty simple. Now I have shown you how to configure your ZSH shell to make it look like this, which if you're using oh my ZSH, you have to edit your ZSHRC and then come over here, just uncomment this line that says export path, this thing. So basically what you want to do is add a dot local slash bin directory to your path variable. You can do this inside of your ZSHRC or you can just copy this entire line, right? Just get this line and then put that inside of your bash RC if you're using bash. Okay, make sure that you have that in your path variable. And once you do, you should be able to execute any programs that are inside of dot local slash bin. So let's say for example, that I wanted to change something. So let's say, okay, let's do this. So let's pick a program from here. Okay, what program are we going to pick night mode dot sh. Now, normally, if I just type in night mode dot sh, it shouldn't be able to execute it. But because I've added this program, this path, what do you call it directory to the path variable, I'm going to be able to access the name of the program that's inside of this directory without typing in dot slash before the name. If I type night mode dot sh, yeah, as you can see, there is a notification that says night light is turned off. If I run it again, there you go nightlight is turned on, which is perfect. Now, the only thing left to do is just copy niche to home slash dot local bin. Oopsie, that is not it. So you want to just mv home slash dot local bin to home slash dot local bin niche. Okay, now once you do that, and by the way, for the shell changes to take place, you want to log out and log back in or type source and your shell file, whether that be dot shrc or dot bash rc. Okay. Once you do that, you should be able to type niche. And as you can see, the color automatically changed from red to green, which indicates that this command is executable. Now, if I type in enter, there you go. We have niche in all of its minimal glory, just right here. If I wanted to, I can position the kitty window in such a way that it looks as though there are no scroll bars and that niche is just running inside of this terminal like so. And that's pretty much it. That is how you can fix Niche's icons to look so much better and restore it to its former glory. And also, if you want to learn how to make this fetch part of your setup and have it adapt to whatever theme you choose inside of a custom theme switcher like this one that you create along with a wallpaper switcher like this one over here and a hell of a lot more, you can go ahead, click the first link in the description to check out Hyper Accelerator. It's 10 hours of content with step-by-step -step instructions, just like what I just showed you over here. Go to this repo, click this button, copy this command, type this in, and me explaining every single step, okay? So that you don't have to basically just copy me and then be lost in case you have to change something or in case you have to troubleshoot. It's made so that you don't have to monkey see, monkey do, copy somebody else's dot files, change a couple of colors and call it your own, only to go crying back to the maintainer that things aren't working. I teach you how to make stuff like this on your own so that you don't have to be dependent on another person's goodwill and can just be proud of your own creation. So if you want to learn how to make a setup like this and not just copy my dot files, go ahead, click the first link in the description and check out the program. 
If you liked the video, hit like. If you loved it and want to see more like this in your feed, hit subscribe and I will see you next time. Stay rising. Mwah.